Hey guys, it's Tina, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Fangxi Guangying 3x3. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of the package. Now, I'm really excited about this puzzle for a few different reasons. Uh, one being that I'm a pretty big fan of Fangxi cubes, I think they're really great. And secondly, because this cube, along with the Xingyu, which is Fangxi's new 2x2, they sort of mark Fangxi's return to the market. They've been away for quite some time, partially because they dedicated a lot of their time and resources to making the Baije, which is a 3x3 that was supposed to come out about this time last year, and it hasn't come out yet. Fangxi has announced that they will be releasing that cube sometime soon in the future. They haven't really given an official release date yet, but that, along with the 4x4, are definitely some puzzles to look out for, because I think they're going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to move these things out of the way so we can go ahead and unbox the 3x3. So this is the Fengxi Guangying. It comes in this nice box. Fengxi's always had some really cool designs on their boxes. And it also appears that they are going to be making a mini version of this cube. So that's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm not going to say anything about it yet because I haven't even tried this puzzle yet. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I'm very excited to try this cube out because, I, like I said before, I'm a big fan of Fengxi cubes. So there we have the Fengxi logo right there in the middle. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box, and there is the Guangying. It looks really nice out of the box, and I can already tell some differences between this and the Shrengren. First of all, this cube is actually very shiny and glossy, which is very uncharacteristic for Fangxi cubes. One of the things that separates Fangxi cubes from other puzzles is the fact that they are made in a more of a matte plastic. This plastic here looks very glossy, even the stickers look to be a bit more glossy than the Shrengren. They also appear a bit brighter in color. But let's go ahead and do some first turns. We'll look more into that stuff in a second when we do a comparison with the Trang Rem. But for now, let's go ahead and do some first turns. So, here we go. Oh, wow. This thing... Wow, this thing is really nice and fast out of the box. But more importantly, it's actually really smooth. However, the one thing that I'm missing from this puzzle right away is the fact that there is zero scratchy feeling. There is no scratchy or swooshy feeling whatsoever. There is nothing. And I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest, because that's kind of how I identify Fangxi cubes, is with their scratchy feeling. That's what they're known for, is for having a scratchy feeling. So the smoothness on this puzzle, it actually feels kind of airy and buttery in a way. Hmm, I'm not really sure how I feel about this cube right now. I'm definitely going to have to do some solves with it to really get a feel for this cube. Um, but let's go ahead and do some comparisons between this cube and the Shrengren. So here I have a Shrengren version 2, and like I said, I can already tell right out of the box that this cube is very different from this cube in terms of just how the cube in general feels and just the overall look of it. Okay, so I have disassembled both puzzles. So let's go ahead and start with the center caps. Now, this side over here is the Fengxi Shrengren, and this is the Fengxi Guangqing. And here we have the two center caps. They look very similar on this side. I mean, they're caps, so they, I mean, there's nothing too much to them. But if we turn them around, they actually look quite different. The Fengxi Shrengren has sort of these four little pins here, and they fit very snugly into the four holes in the center here. So that is the Shrengren center cap. And then over here on the Guangqing, we just have one sort of circular piece, and this piece actually fits over the screw and it kind of sits in over that little plastic piece. So, so those are actually quite different. It's just a different way to secure the center cap to the cube. So those are the center caps. Next, let's move on to the corners. So the corners themselves actually look quite similar. I believe that the Guangying corner is slightly longer than the Fangxi. And the little concave piece here, the little corner stock, the end of it, is actually a bit smaller than on the Shang Ren. Uh, the corners themselves are actually a bit, and the corner pieces themselves are actually a bit different as well. As you can see, this corner here on the string rim, it has sort of these circular indents on it. And that is because if you take this off the cap, that is where the little pins from the corner sit in. They just sit into those little holes right there. And it's also one way that if this corner doesn't come out, you can just kind of push on it, and then the cap will come off. This puzzle, you don't actually see that on the outside. All you see is like these little rails here. If we take apart the corner, if I can get it apart, there we go. So if you look inside, the internal pieces are still very similar, it's just that they've hidden them inside, and the little uh, corner stock is sort of sitting in between those two little lines there. So it's definitely a different design, however, the overall basic design is still there for these pieces. So those are the corners, let's move on to the edges. So here we have the edges, and the Guangying edge appears to be a bit bigger than the Fengxi edge, and if we turn it, we also see that the, the torpedoes themselves are also a bit bigger on this cube. And just like on the corner, if you take a closer look at the pieces, we notice this one also has sort of those what I call rails or lines in them. Whereas the fang sheet, you can just see sort of where the pins sit on this. So if we take this apart, you see that is how the edge is attached right there, the cap. It has these two little columns or pins in here, and they sit into those two little holes at the top, which you can actually see from the outside. 
And then on the Guang Ying, it's actually a bit similar to the corner where they've kind of hidden those a little bit. So if we get the edge off, you can see that, that the edge slots are still in the same place. They're just sort of a different design. They kind of slide in like this. So that's definitely something that is different with these pieces. But again, the overall basic design with, uh, with the cap over the edge piece is the same. So those are the edges, and those are all the pieces that I want to compare. So I'm going to go ahead and put these cubes back together, and then I'll give you guys my final first impressions of this cube. Alright guys, so I just did a few averages with this cube, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really don't think this cube is for me. It just really doesn't suit my turning style. However, it is still a really good cube. It's very fast and very smooth, and so I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who are really going to like this cube. Now, I'm still going to sort of mess around with it a bit, solve with it, you know, try to set it up to my liking, but right now, it just really doesn't suit my turning style. For me, it's a bit catchy and a bit locky. Again, it's a new cube, so I still have to get used to the turning, but as of right now, it really doesn't suit my turning style. However, if you are a fan of fancy cubes, I would definitely look recommend looking into it so that's unfortunate, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with my Shrang Ren as being my favorite Fangxi 3x3. Okay guys, so that is it for this unboxing. In this video, I unboxed the Fangxi Guangying. It came in this lovely box over here, along with these free set of stickers from the cubicle. These are just a Fulbright Fangxi cut set, nothing too special, as well as the business card and the receipt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!